Last night I tried to make dinner for my family using this pre-made udon, which I've been buying for years. This is Japanese style udon from Myojo, and what it usually looks like is this, parboiled noodles. So when I opened up this package and I found this, I was like, what the heck? It's completely moldy. I just bought these, so I looked at the expiration date, October 17, 2017, which is eight months from now, if you don't believe me. Hey Google, what's the date today? It is Thursday, the 9th of February, 2017. Ah, February 9th. That is eight months away. This is not supposed to be moldy, so I was super disgusted. I got really paranoid, especially when you have a baby. You just don't want to put them in any danger. So what I did is I went to the JFC International website, because on the package there's no customer service number. So if you go to JFC International, which is their, I guess their parent company, you go to contact us. I entered one of these. It's not a customer service number, it's more like if you want to join their company. So. I didn't think that was gonna work. So I went on Amazon and I was like, I'm gonna post a review. And they said my review could not be posted because of the following guidelines, which I'm following the guidelines. I tried again just to make sure I took out the word disgusting and this one also got rejected. So what the heck? So I told them I was gonna post a YouTube video because they're rejecting my post, most likely because that photo of moldy udon is going to turn away a ton of customers. So uh, I'm posting a video. Yeah, you can't shut me down. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell everyone, I'm gonna tell the world. Two possible reasons why this is moldy. One is the sterilization process might not have worked. Number two is that the package could have been damaged. I can't see any damage to the packaging, no, any big holes, but I think maybe, maybe this is it right here. Maybe it's that. Do you see, that could be where the opening is, where air got in and mold was allowed to grow and fester. Maybe the sealing machine didn't work correctly because it ends right up here. So we're gonna dip this in red dye and we're gonna see if any of it goes into the package itself. If there's bubbles too, then you know that. Yeah, see, I think it's that. Do you see that? Do you see those bubbles coming out of that corner that I was suspecting? That's, I think that's what happened. It didn't get closed properly, so it allowed air to get in and mold and bacteria. I'm pretty sure that was it. And if I were to rinse this out, you'd probably see that the noodles were red. Ugh, gross, I'm so grossed out by this. Ugh, I just wanna throw it away. So in conclusion, it wasn't airtight because the seal is broken up here. I'll probably never buy from them again because it's just a waste of money. So. JFC actually got back to me. I didn't think they were gonna respond to me. I told them that I didn't want any free products, though it would have been nice to be reimbursed for the three packages. Anyways, Kate Kate actually got back to me. They apologized for the incident. They forwarded my picture to the manufacturer and they offered to send me a replacement. I just ignored that message because I told them I didn't want a replacement. Even then, Kate Kate still followed up and asked me for a mailing address again and phone number. So I thought that was nice that she was trying to follow up. But I just wanted to share that with you that there is a way to contact the company. So if you ever do come across a moldy package of udon, they will replace it. And if you're buying Miyosha udon, just make sure to look kind of through the package and see if it's moldy, just to make sure you don't get a bad batch. And don't cook in the dark. Make sure you look at the udon before you throw it in the pot. So thank you for watching and see you guys later. Bye. Hi baby. Oh, you are so loud.